Hi guys, so if you saw my last video, you'll have seen me painting this lovely looking orc and a good old cell shading or comic book style, which I absolutely love doing now. And yeah, I'm going to be doing a few more of these because these are obviously going to be a, well as you can see, they're an oversized printout of a lovely orc. Um, and yeah, I'm going to make a kill team with these oversized ones. And I'm going to paint them all in the cell shading sort of style. Uh, very simple to do. Um, and yeah, I'm going to show show you the sort of process that I do. So starting off, because um, I'm going to be painting these, or I want these to be mainly green because of their orcs, I'm going to prime them in this good old Death Rattle Green. And this is from the Colour Forge, so leave a link down below. Awesome primer, goes on really well, dries perfectly as you can see, lovely and matte. And this is what I'm going to use as the, well, the base coat for the green for the orcs. So this type of painting really is simple. And to be honest, there's only like three main steps to it. Uh, and the first one is where well, you get the initial sort of base coats on. I'm using the good old Army Painter War Paint Fanatic range. Uh, and as you can see, yeah, this stuff goes on really, really well. Um, I haven't watered down any, anything. Um, I know there could be some comments about watering down paint. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm not going to bother. I think mainly because obviously this is a an oversized miniature. It doesn't matter if the, uh, the paint is that sort of thick. Um, I just want some good coverage uh, and obviously using some nice vibrant colours. As I kind of mentioned in my previous video, my normal style of painting is quite grim dark, especially for the, obviously the miniatures that I use in any kind of games. I like them to look like they're, well, they're worn, they're used, um, and yeah, they've seen a lot of battle. So that's why I kind of generally prefer grim dark. But for the comic book style, obviously it's kind of like the complete opposite. It's using, well, stronger, vibrant colours. Although, in the case of the um, the kill team, as you see, I am painting here. I kind of want them to look, well, look like army men. Um, so, yeah, good old action figure army men. So that's why I'm kind of keeping their colours, well, very sort of army looking. Very sort of greens, browns, and that sort of look. Um, but obviously, you could make these as vibrant, um, as strong looking colours as you want. So initially, as I say, going around, sort of blocking in everything. Um, I'm probably using the, the darker of the colours. Like, so this brown... Is like the darker brown and then I'll use a lighter brown for all the other uh, highlighted areas and that kind of thing and just to mention these orcs are all by Mr. Module Orc uh, absolutely love his stuff so he's over at my mini factory I will leave a link down below uh, so I'm gonna go for a six-man kill team um, as kind of mentioned in my previous video yeah I have tried using larger sort of size kill teams especially obviously the orc kill team uh, but I think it's about 11 different operatives um, and yeah, my memory just can't cope with that many. So yeah, six man kill teams is the way I go. So obviously these orcs, um, yeah, they're not gonna be an orc kill team as such. They're just gonna look, well, obviously like orcs. But again, this is the old cool rule of cool. Um, yeah, I play for fun, nothing serious. Uh, well, as you can tell, I'm making some oversized figures. So obviously there will be a six man oversized orc kill team. Uh, but yeah, then I will make another six man kill team I'm not too sure yet. It might be Space Marines, uh, might be Tyranids, or something else completely different. I'm not sure, but obviously I need two six-man kill teams to be able to play the game. Um, and yeah, so these are just going to be fun to play with. I'm not sure where I'm going to play with them yet, whether it's going to be outside in the garden or sort of taking over the living room. But wherever it's going to be, it's going to be a laugh. Going to need a bigger tape measure. Um, but yeah, lots of fun with oversized figures. So guys, yeah, if you haven't tried cell shading before, I highly recommend giving it a go. Uh, certainly a lot of fun. It's one of those things that when you're first doing it, so this is probably about the fifth or sixth sort of miniature I've done. Um, but yeah, when you first do it, it does feel a little bit weird, especially say for me where I've only ever really used uh, speed paints or only ever really enjoyed using speed paints. So to paint this way for the first time is a little bit different. And it's only when you start using the uh, the black lining at the very end that it all sort of starts to feel, well, how it should do. So that's in pretty much all painted. Now to go over and do the lighter colours. So obviously all the grey areas I'm going to go over with a kind of, well, it's like an off sort of white. Um, and yeah, this is where, again, you just have fun. So you're doing highlights here, but they're kind of, obviously, any raised areas, any top areas. Um, yeah, so generally I am, well, I'm no good at doing highlights even though I kind of appreciate and know where highlights should come from, I still find it very difficult. Um, and even when I'm doing the cell shading like this, again, I have fun with this. I don't think too hard or try and be too neat, too precise on where the uh, the highlights are. 
just typically raised areas and areas that are, well, facing upwards. So again, have fun with this, guys. Um, that's the main thing with this hobby, is having fun. And say, this cell shading, yeah, absolutely love it now because it is fun. Um, you get some nice, vibrant looking miniatures. And I say, because of these miniatures are obviously oversized, they do have a lot more, well, a lot more flat areas. Um, and this is where the old slap chop method, yeah, it really doesn't work too well. So again, it's, it's all about having fun with this. Um, and I've always wanted to have a kill team or a cell shaded kill team. Um, so as much as obviously it is easy enough to paint, well, certainly these larger miniatures, you can do it with the normal sort of smaller size miniatures. Um, but for me, obviously with my eyesight and everything else, yeah, painting bigger miniatures like this is so much easier and so much more fun. Um, because again, I don't need to be too neat, too precise. Um, but yeah, just loving it. Just to say though, guys, even though this month I am doing quite a lot of uh, cell shaded sort of painting, um, yeah, I've also got a lot of videos coming out where I'm finally going to get round to obviously doing more Hero Quest miniatures, as well as more Games Workshop sort of miniatures. Um, they all will be slap chop painted because obviously that is my sort of preferred method of painting. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out for loads of videos coming up with well, all kinds of uh, Games Workshop miniatures because I've got a lot of boxes here. Uh, of a whole variety, a range of miniatures I've not painted. I've also got a lot of Hero Quest miniatures and even a Zombicide miniatures. I'll, uh, I'll be painting those soon as well. If you guys, have you got any preference on what you want to see coming up first? Uh, yeah, by all means, let me know in the comments as well. I like reading your comments. And sometimes, hey, I don't always know what to paint next, even though I pretty much paint every day. Uh, yeah, sometimes you guys let me know what you want to see coming up. Definitely helps. So as I say, yeah, I'm using um, good old Army Painter paints. And as you can see, yeah, every color I'm using, uh, the first thing I went and did was I got like the darker color and the lighter sort of equivalent. Um, I have seen a lot of cell shading videos where people use three sort of different tones um, of the sort of same color. So I might try that in an upcoming video. But for this one, yeah, so I'm keeping it nice and simple, nice and easy, and literally just using two colors. So darker version, lighter version, yeah, job done. So now it is a case of doing the black lining. This is the bit where it really sort of brings it out, makes it look 2D and, well, sort of how it should look, comic book style. So before I do the paint, um, yeah, I'm putting some matte varnish on. This just helps the uh, the pen and the uh, the ink and all that go on a whole lot easier. And again, as you saw there, good old Colour Forge. So where possible, yeah, I do prefer <laughs> using a marker pen, uh, just because I do feel like I've got more control over this. But there are a lot of areas where, yeah, marker pens don't quite hit it, and I do have to use, uh, well, a good old paintbrush. So for me, yeah, this is definitely where it does help doing the larger miniature. Um, as a smaller miniature, yeah, you can't really use the old marker pen too much, because sometimes the lines are, well, they're too thick. Uh, but that's the one good thing about this, though. Um, again, as you can see, I'm doing it sort of quite quick, not necessarily being as neat as, well, I should be. Uh, but it all goes to add to the effect of this looking like it has been, well, sort of painted um, in a comic book, which is obviously the kind of look we're going for. So yeah, you don't have to be too neat. Obviously, I'm I'm not trying not to be neat. <laughs> uh, but when I'm doing it, especially with a brush, um, if some bits are thicker or some lines are thicker than others, that's fine. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's fine. It doesn't need to be trying and be too neat. Again, I think that's the whole thing with painting now. And the reason why I do enjoy painting so much is I don't worry now. When I first started painting, I was always, well, self-critical, self-doubting, uh, and wanting things to look absolutely perfect. And any time I made any kind of error, um, yeah, that just kind of ruined it for me for the rest of the painting of that miniature. Whereas now, yeah, I don't really sort of worry or care half as much <laughs> as I used to, uh, but I enjoy it twice as much, which, say, hey, it's really, really weird. Uh, but yeah, get out of the mindset of not making any mistakes. You make a mistake, yeah, happy little accidents. Um, and just, yeah, just have fun with it, because I know uh, I certainly do now. So as I say, just three steps to this sort of uh, cell shading, and that is blocking in the main colors, going over, doing some highlights, and then finally finishing off by going around every edge, um, doing a black line. So this is the bit that will take the longest. I mean, this takes obviously longer than doing both lots of painting. Uh, but again, it's the it's worth it. It's therapeutic, and this is where yeah, it starts looking great. And then the last thing to do, I guess, this kind of comes in with the uh, the black lining, and that's just going around, put a few hash marks 
here and there, or just a few lines here and there. And this just adds, well, adds to the comic book look. Um, and yeah, it definitely gives it that sort of comic book look style thingy. I'm waffling now. Who knows what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying. And say, <laughs> I love this. Um, so yeah, quick, simple, fun. Um, and definitely for an oversized kill team, <laughs> this is going to look great. Plus the other thing is, this is going to look great just on, well, my shelf. So now I've got a studio. I've got more room. So I've definitely got more room to put things. Um, and again, that's the other reason why I'm now printing out larger miniatures, just because I do have more room. Um, I've always wanted to do larger miniatures, <laughs> and now I can. So guys, if there's any kind of style painting you want to see me try, uh, by all means let me know, because I do love trying out new things. And obviously like you guys, I watch a lot of other videos on people painting and making things, just because, well, I want to keep learning and trying new things. So yeah, go around, again, I, this is one of those things where you need to sort of stop. <laughs> I do in a minute because uh, I think sometimes you can put too many lines on um, you don't sort of spoil it but then it just looks like yeah there's too many lines on so there we go he's just about done and yeah so I've now got two lovely looking orcs cell shaded ready to do um, well ready to do some crumping I guess so guys hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave some uh, some comments down below hit the like button and if you can share the video wherever possible be awesome okay guys bye for now